Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today's happy is that, man, of all the days in the world, I feel like we need a little bit of happy. My heart is so heavy thinking about all those kids and those teachers, and what if that was my child or my grandchild or my daughter-in-law who's a teacher or my son who's a teacher, so I've just had a hard day of it. But I had some guests come in that made me really happy and made me forget about that for a minute. We have people in from Texarkana. Arkansas, well, not Texas. One. We got one that's hidden over yeah, there. Yeah, she's there hiding. She Martha, she's Martha hiding. has been the problem the whole time she's been here. She's been causing all kinds of trouble. Anyway, so give me the names. Kelsey, Kelsey Dawn, Kylie, Kylie and what, everybody knows Martha. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's Martha. So they've come to watch. They've been watching The Happies for quite a while. They're from a flower shop in Texarkana. And so they actually take their breaks during the day, they kind of walk around, which I was like, wow. So anyway, but honestly, I've had a really bad day thinking about all that stuff. And they came in and made me feel a whole lot better because, you know, flowers are the language of happiness. So it made me happy to know that I make them happy. So we're going to get started. So we're going to do three things today because I really just didn't want to focus on anything. I just want to make something pretty and make me forget about what's going on in this crazy uncontrollable, crazy world. Anyway, so with that being said, I'm actually going to do a prototype. We have an event, pretty big event this weekend, so I'm going to start working on one of the low arrangements today. Then I'm just going to make two pretty happies. Y'all want to help me in a minute? Sure. Well, come on up here. Uh-oh. <laughs> we come got on, one Dawn. jumping to it. Kelsey's like, uh, I don't know about the, this. This will be Chris Norwood and Dawn, like Tony Lando and Dawn. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. So this is going to go in a low dish, and we're actually going to put these on cake stands for this event. Mm -hmm. And I think we have like over 30 of these to make. So we're just doing a prototype to kind of get our bearings straight. Of course, you know, when you do an order, we talked about this earlier, when you do an order, you kind of pre-plan what you exactly think you're going to need, and then you get find out you're going to get half of it. Or it's still on a truck somewhere, or the color came in wrong. So we're going to improvise a little bit. And make do, we're just going to see how this all works out. Because we'll have to get it approved by the bride anyway, so we're going to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use these pink and green vintage hydrangea. And we've already taken all the leaves off. You know, that's our trick. Actually, I just got a text, let me tell you, from Miss Jenny in North Carolina. And she said she was somewhere making an arrangement, and this lady was watching her do it. And she said, you take the leaves off? And she said, yes, ma'am, I'll take all the leaves. She goes, well, there's a guy I watch on the internet that takes his leaves off, too. And she goes, Mr. Happy? And she said, yeah. And she goes, well, I know him. I know Miss Jenny. Miss Jenny's been AFD forever. And so she's watched us from the beginning. So shout out to Miss Jenny, too, today. So I've had two people that have made me happier today by being here. So we're just so glad you're here. So we're glad to be here. Yeah, so this is their, so their uh, payoff for having a good Mother's Day. You know said? You said you're all going to do something fun. I thought, well, I hope they don't want their money back afterwards. No. So. <laughs> they're, they're probably thinking, going, was that worth the trip? <laughs> She's like, I don't know. As long as we get lunch, it might be worth it. Yeah, worth it. Exactly. So this is all going to be a combination of lavenders, a little bit of purple, nude color, a little bit of peach, and a lot of blush pink. Is that not correct, Miss Day? That's correct. So we're going to do that. We're actually going to put our pennies up on the top. You know, you always want those to show off because they're, they are the bell of the ball. Absolutely. And we've got some, uh, we'll also have some viburnum. We're going to add a little bit to this, but it's still at the airport apparently. So, okay. so we're going to add a few of our quicksand roses to the edge. Aren't they pretty? And then we're going to go back and add another one here because that color is kind of, you know, quicksands are kind of a hot commodity. And I'm going to add a little bit of purple and I'll layer it right on top of that lavender. So it kind of blends it together a little bit better than having a, the reason why I do that, so when you spot, when you put two d different shades of the same flower, but also the fact that this is so dark, so I put there right in front of the light, it looked dotted. So I pair it together with the lighter color so it blends it better into the arrangement. And you've been doing this 20 years, 20 years, 20 years. 20 20 years. years. Yeah. It's one of those things that's like a bad drug addiction. You can't get over it, so you've got to no, keep doing it. So. Keep <laughs> <laughs> First, unfortunately, 
personally, I don't know anything else I can do, so that'll be it. So, so there's that. So we're going to put a little bit of pop of white here. Yeah. That. This ivy's messing us up over here. Yeah, it wants to get, it wants to jump in the party pretty quick. So, <laughs> so there's that. Everybody's so glad to catch you live today. They, they said, like yesterday, a lot of sadness, and they're glad to find something that makes a little happy yeah. around here. Oh, I just can't hardly think about it. So, but anyway, you know the thing I think about the most are those parents out there. This, I just don't know how. How do you cope? How do you cope with that? I mean, just it, it's it's pretty sad. So. Now we're going to go back and add a little bit of the eucalyptus. And this has that tone color between the two, that lighter color. Are you adding mint to this? What did you decide? Here on this one? We can, definitely. I didn't know where the it's mint was going. It's just not here yet. Yeah, I know. Five o'clock tonight, our truck's going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of all, of all it, it's typical. You know, when you need something now to go and get it open, that's when the truck breaks down and you're and stuck in Mississippi. So anyway. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. We'll figure It'll it out. It'll be here. So we have family from Oregon, Poland, Illinois. Awesome. Somebody asked what the price is. We don't nope. say the price because it's for a customer. customer. Everyone's saying so pretty. That's good. Well, these are going to be on cake plates. So they'll be in the middle of round tables. And then we're not showing you the, the other ones because we don't want to give it all away. But we've got some suspended arrangements. And they're also going, oh, that quicksand rose is not good. Ching. We'll have to get it later. That's the one thing about those roses. There's kind of like a lavender rose. They brew so easy. Miss Alice said she's been looking forward to this all day. Thank you for brightening our day. Well, we, Miss Alice has been with us for about the beginning of time, too. So. <laughs> We have family from Texas, New York, Alabama, Georgia, North Carolina, Kentucky. Well, awesome. Miss Madeline said this has a Victorian vibe. Well, you know it's going to go a little bit that way, but then it's also going to be incorporated into some really contemporary uh, furniture that we're bringing in for it. So it's a little bit of a vibe of both. And then we're going to have some designs that are just all one flower, so it's very monochromatic, kind of slick. But on this one, I was going to add just a little bit of It's going to be pretty fun. I can't wait to show them behind the scene pictures. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, I woke up at 2.30 in the morning thinking about how the behind, behind the scene pictures are going to go. So anyway, I need this one over there so I can get some sleep. So. That's right. <laughs> My sister said, do you want to come to Hot Springs and go eat lunch on the lake on Sunday? And I said, um, I think I'm going to be sleeping. But we'll see about that. Well, we won't be done until about 3 in the morning. I know, exactly. We have to tear it out at midnight. So anyway, so there's one of those. So I'm going to set this off to the side, and we will start the next one. Well, what are you going to have Miss Donna help you with? You told her she well, could help. Well, I'm going to let her. I guess help. I'm going to have her help me. Here. Anything. Here. I can hold the flowers. No, you can help me take the petals off. Okay. Petals, leaves. Petals, Same leaves, thing. whatever. Look at those hydrangeas. So this one was going to go in this one. Do we soak our ivy in cold water? Uh, if it's wilted, we do. But nine times out of ten, it comes hydrated, dehydrated. And once you hydrate it back, then it will take, oops, it'll be all right. Oh, I got a bad knife here. Let me try that one. That one better? Yeah, a little bit. At least it cuts. The other one didn't cut. We have people go. receiving their comment solds today, so that's oh, awesome. Good. Awesome. If you have any questions, as always, let us know. Have any issues? Just let us know. Nobody's perfect. We always run the risk that not. You know, some things are just out of our control as far as shipping goes. So. Miss Julie is watching. From Cape Cod, and she's very jealous of our guest today. She hopes <laughs> one day she can come. 
Chelsea walked in and said she'd never met a celebrity before. And I said, where are they? Because I don't know who you're, talk <laughs> who you're even talking about here. So anyway, so we're just going to make this a simple drop, a garden drop in. So now I'm going to go back and incorporate our delphinium there. You know, I was just thinking, I just want to do something today that I want to think about, go into autopilot, make something that's pretty, and just not think about all the craziness of the world at this point. Miss Barbara is watching live for the first time today. Oh my goodness. Well, hello, Miss Barbara. What kind of knife do you use? This is just a simple paring knife that we have. Now let's go back and let's block the, some of those roses in there. So today, I didn't even tell them what we're using today, Christina, I'm so out of tune. So these are country blue. We've used some powder blue with a little bit of lavender hydrangea, I don't know the name of it. We have a little bit of a white, that's got a little bit of blue cast, doesn't it, mm -hmm. there. And then we're gonna add some rubrum lilies. We're gonna go back and, and we did a little bit of Dusty Miller. We have a little bit of Veronica. We got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, cooler cleaner. There you go. There we go. So did y'all have a successful Mother's Day? We no. did, we had a very successful Mother's Day. Well, awesome. Good. I guess they did good enough to get a trip. They did good enough to get a trip. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. They did an awesome job. They did an awesome job. I can't find one. I'm very proud of them. Oh, good. Y'all need a job. <laughs> 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 I need you. Why? Huh? She wouldn't let me apply. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we were on our way up and she asked if I would give her a good reference. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Uh, Oh my, my good! Right uh, oh goodness! Listen, you just stay up here. You can stay <laughs> yeah. at my house this weekend. We need some help. Yeah, we need help. Stay along. So there's that one. A little bit of greenery there. So we have someone ask, how do you Desi Miller so fragile? Any tips on how you make it not droop so fast? Well, generally we don't use it in foam unless it's for party work, and it has to be refrigerated until the last minute. Because really, it, to me, I, I don't know the trick to make it any better, but it's all about that it, you know, we just use it for effect because of the texture. So with that being said, I don't have an answer. But when we do it in water, like clear water, it tends to hold a little bit better. I also do a trick where I'll go back and do like a pit, like or a salal leaf behind it, kind of like this to make it kind of stand up. So it's kind of like putting a crinoline on a petticoat. You just yes. put the crinoline in there and it makes it all stand up. So there's that one. You know what I did want to do is add that little popliorum to it. So on this one, look at that popliorum. Oh my goodness. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that middle foliage off. And I'm going to cut it into three pieces. I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to leave it there. Oop. Somebody asked, is this a Simon Pierce vase? No, it's a faux Simon Pierce vase because it looks like a Simon Pierce vase. Very similar. Very similar to it, but it's not. It's only like, oh, how much is this vase? $26. It's definitely not a Simon Pierce vase. There's not a zero out there. It's not a Simon Pierce vase. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, it kind of. Makes it look a little bit lighter, doesn't it? And a little bit more depth. 